and welcome to another 4 player chess match. I'm the operating system and today we're going to be playing as Red. Uh, this week I decided we would not have music because I did miss, miss that opportunity on the first two videos and just for the sake of consistency I, I'm going to keep it like that. So if you guys have like a suggestion for like some music that you want to listen and uh, it's not copyrighted, like go ahead and drop it in the comments. Oh, green still has to go. Okay, so blue is going for the king, king's Indian defense ish style. Like it's not really sure what he's going for. That's actually an interesting strategy from yellow like, pushing a pawn that's not the queen one, but it still like, gets to go all the way through without any interruptions. Because I cannot stop it in any way. Green obviously hasn't tried to stop it. Blue has an opportunity here to stop it, but like he would be losing his bishop if he tried to. So it's pretty cool that that opening. So, looking at the rankings, uh, Yellow is definitely the, the one that has played the best in the past. And Green is gonna give me a, a pretty good fight. So, gonna focus more on the playing defensive against them than against Blue. Looking cause issues, but it's not for sure that he'll what he'll do. Yellow should take that. the The reason is because uh, if he takes there, we. Green takes the the queen, and I would just checkmate then. I'm just gonna set up to do a king side defense here, and then figure out what I want to do after that. Unless like a big opportunity presents itself, like checkmate mating. Yellow. So that's a wise choice to keep defense here in the center and still save his force. Oh, and based on Green's opinion, he also ends up saving his own rook.
Okay, so now I'm pretty safe. I can go ahead and push. Yeah, like I'm gonna go ahead and push here. That's gonna be the idea. Yeah, uh, I don't know about blue, but like he he's thinking a bit like uh, we in in this game everybody helps each other, like the like the strongest player. And that's not really the case. Like usually it's like everybody for themselves, and you figure out what what to do to like make yourself stronger, not not give any advantages to your rest so here the the, the reason why the this just like keeps that whole diagonal against blue Pretty much the best choice that blue has is to to come there, but that's still not even a, a good decision overall. Like you cannot guarantee that it's that this spot will save your bishop. Because I can simply just uh, ignore it, let yellow take. And then I would really have to like war because that's a queen, but That's not really a, that big of an issue. So, pretty much ignoring everything that's going on in the board, I'll just keep pushing for a second queen here. Uh, not sure that, that if they will allow that, because. Like the, like it's still two steps, so I, I cannot guarantee that I'm gonna get a second queen. What's he attacking? Um, well, I can ignore that bishop for now. Although I should, what I should have done there is like bring my my queen up one step. So, two queens. So, right now it's all on yellow. <laughs> and it's not so much of a joke, uh, like saying, Everybody's focusing on what yellow does. It's more of like I have too much power in the center of the board that he has to feel the threat. I'm just gonna lessen that 
five, bringing back my queen. Here defending also, giving another defender to that pawn. I, I cannot do anything about it yet. Blue like, is just wasting a tempo there, like, getting a check. Why is green attacking that pawn specifically? I'm starting to question it because there's no good reason why he should be doing that. Like, no matter how you look at it, like, attacking this pawn doesn't do anything for him. Okay, so he castled. Let's bring this horse out here and should settle up the fence there. Here, simple defense, I'm gonna push this pawn out so I can also bring my rook into defending this pawn. I'm gonna still do this. Like the the idea of like getting this pawn protected is still a good one. What did? Oh, I see why he moved there. But now, like, yeah, I have checkmate there. Yeah, so I might as well sacrifice for a free checkmate there. Push here back to defending that pawn. I just left my my horse hanging there and didn't realize it. Uh, no, that would block it. Let's bring my horse here. I can now bring the this pawn up. 
bring the rook behind it and just have another queen here. Okay, that's smart. Breaking my my king side is a good way to be fight me. I'm gonna open up this side because there's like no way of getting threatened from that side. So here the idea is to take that in case he he decides to fight. Gonna lessen the, the pressure here. Although it does open up more of my field. If he decides to take, I'm sure he's calculating that one because it, it's a sacrifice of a horse for a, a pawn, but for two pawns. Okay. Push here. He gets a queen. It's not that big of a deal. Blue is also getting a queen. No. Um, well, might as well push there. Centralize that rook. I'm actually gonna bring it up. Then figure out a way to like move the these two horses without actually losing any valuable stuff. Queen still has to play. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure what Green was is planning there. But I can do these and not feel any threat now. Okay, smart. Bring my bishop in. Blue seems to be more interested in fighting green than fighting me, not sure why. Oh. 
I just realized that the queen hasn't moved that bishop. So, yeah, that's a that's a loss of nine points for me. I have to take there. So this can either come very chaotic, which looks to be the case. Or I'll be able to like survive this. Not sure how though. So, threat is obvious here. I'm attacking that that rook. Look and take the the rook. That's not gonna change anything about what's going on. It's just giving him points, which I'd rather not. Do, but not don't have a choice there. Green has a check here and there. That's the one I was gonna point out. And I cannot do anything other than block with my queen. So that game, uh, like, not sure if Green can actually, I mean, if Luke can actually like win this, but if he manages to get one more point, uh, he ties with me and because of his ranking, I'll be the one that's losing a lot of points there. But that was pretty fun. Uh, I hope that you guys uh, enjoyed this match. Yeah, there's the point. Yeah, like it all went down with, with this square. Like uh, I messed up there with giving him a queen. Giving them a, a lot of opening there. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm gonna keep the game running just so you guys see the end of of the match. It's actually a bit more intense than I expected because of how like they're blocking each other's queen options. Green has green cannot take there, so that's a bit unfortunate for him. Yep, so he takes. I'm now third place. That's
I wonder how Green will decide to end this match. Oh, Blue is just gonna lose by time. No, he did. He decided to to move. Still try to play this out. Actually, if Green gets one more point, which he can, he can just surrender and win this by points. He can just well, he cannot move that horse. So. Okay, so blue blocking the green horse from moving forward. Not what he needs to be worrying about though. Uh, that is a funny decision that Blue gave Green. Give him nine points, or or just move the and lose a one point. So here I would ch start by checking there. And blue surrenders, so that's the game. Yeah, I do lose 3.4 points. I don't know why it's doing that. Like that's a weird thing that it does now that counting by point something. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this match. Pretty cool one. I may say so myself, and I'll be like, seeing what what music to be playing on the next week. So thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.